When I carried him, I knew he was special. I used to get picked on a lot, so I kind of understand that feeling. I see this imposing figure that for such a young man, age-wise, he's way above his, his years physical-wise, but also the maturity of him really took me back. He was so mature. Coming into Milton, everybody didn't really think I was all that. But after that announcement of me being number one in the country, um, it started to uh, open up people's eyes a little wider. And, um, you know, just after that season, having 20 plus sacks, um, we really started buying in and, you know, just putting target around my name. And now there are opportunities for, you know, athletes like you out of high school then to get in college and take advantage of NIL. Was that on your radar? Um, LT Overton, uh, go to Melton High School, my foregoing senior, class 2022. I grew up playing flag football too. I um, think that was my second sport. And he got in trouble the whole time because instead of grabbing a flag, he would bump him. You can't touch in flag football, but LT had to do that contact. It's like, you know, your son keeps doing that. I said, I know. When LT first started walking, I would be washing dishes or cooking and he will be ramming me in my legs. You know, he had that contact since he's been walking. So I knew, you know, we had to do something for that energy. So after the flag football, they let him play, you know, tackle football. And he's he got defensive player of the year as a six year old and a seven eight team. And he's always played, you know, been the youngest on a team playing. Uh, basketball came in a little later, uh, probably when I was like nine or 10. Uh, I, I wasn't really like interested in it, but I, I felt like it was um, more of a conditioning thing. But uh, the younger me, you know, I wasn't I, re I wasn't really as much of a uh, like a running guy. so. I had to grow into that. As I got older, I started taking them more serious. Basketball, you run up and down the court. You know, I will watch and everybody else will be at this end of the court and LT will still be down at the other end of the court. And I'm just looking like, what are you doing? I'm yelling at him. And he said, don't worry, mom, they'll be back. I don't need to run down there. So, you know, so at that point I was like, you know, we're done. Basketball is not going to be for you. Just focus on football and baseball. But after a year, he came back. I didn't know he was practicing extra with basketball. He came and said, hey, mom, I got this basketball down pack. I'm ready. He's like, no, 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 no. You know, we're not going to go there. He said, no, I have it. I'm ready. I said, OK, well, you're going to start church league first. You know, I knew that was a little slower than, you know, starting with the competitive level. So we did it and he mastered that. Then we went local, you know, around Tuscaloosa and he mastered that, started losing weight. He was focused, changed his diet. So at that moment, I knew because when I saw him that that next year, how he devoted, if he, how many free throws he would miss, he would come home and shoot 25 more. No matter, right before he got in to go eat, take a shower, anything, he was always on that driveway and determined to try to correct the error that he made during the game. So me seeing that he's, you know, outside of what I'm pushing him, I knew that that was something different. Alabama was very limited with resources, academically, you know, the K through 12, as well as athletically. When his brother was graduating to go to college, LT was going to high school. So I promised him when I got his brother set, situated to college that we would look for a bigger city to go to, we will relocate. I did my research in the Georgia area. It was academics, athletics. They had to have football and basketball. That's what they had to have both, all three. Milton hit all three points. Yeah, LT came in his freshman, his freshman year, closer to the holidays. So after kind of football season was ending and he came here uh, with mom and they transferred here, they moved here. It's always been football um, from day one, but um, going at freshman, freshman and sophomore year, coming into Milton High School and, uh, you know, playing these big 7A teams and seeing that I'm actually producing in each game, uh, helped me realize I actually had a, have a shot in both. So. You know, just it's just it's just a it's just another sport, another grind. Give me give me some memorable moments at Milton High School. Uh, for basketball, um, I say losing in the Final Four uh, my freshman year. Uh, I, I've never really like gotten that close and uh, lost before. So um, you know, especially at a big stage at seven A, and uh, you know we won that game, think we were we were gonna win. So. And you know, just not taking it as serious when we lost. And then a um, state championship uh, last year for basketball. You know, it was a great feeling. Um, never would have thought I would win a state championship, uh, a huge, or well, the biggest division in Georgia. And then um, 
for football, you know, we just recently lost state, but uh, it was a great memorable, memorable moment. Probably the best uh, high school football team I've ever been a part of. And, you know, just having fun with those guys. And, uh, you know, just coming into Melton High School and meeting those guys, all the coaches, all the players, and just uh, really just, you know, just being able to enjoy the moment while it lasts with those guys. Hopefully. But I think, you know, 21 sacks, so 21 and a half sacks is just a sophomore year is pretty impressive, right? Uh, playing running back and, and, and scoring touchdowns in some big playoff games for us. You need a big back back there is impressive. Playing some tight end for us and making some plays there as well. And just seeing him in practice, you know, he's a kid always up front. Um, just things like that, that just it catches your eye, you know. And you can tell a kid that's a Sunday kid, not because of his athletic ability, but it, it's the work ethic involved in there as well. It's, it's maturity level. It's obviously the, the stature he has and God-given ability there. You can't coach a certain height and weight unless God gives it to you. But he has all that together. Academics has been going throughout my family uh, ever since day one. So, you know, my mom's always on um, me and my brother's butt about getting our academics straight, especially if it's academics over having fun or it's, it's, just, it's just something that uh, it's, it's a must do in our family. So, so you hear student athlete and people go, okay, you know, two, five, three, oh, I'm talking 4-0 student athlete, taking uh, high courses, AP honors courses, Teachers never complain about him. If there's a Zoom, if there's a Teams, you know, that back when we were doing all those online things with during COVID, he was there paying attention, listening. Academics are big for him, like huge for him. And I think that's what mom and dad has instilled in him, no doubt. We're a very high academic school, so he fit in academically great for that reason. Um, but I think moving forward, he'll have multiple degrees in his life. People are pushing their kids on the, the sport, the, the court and the football, you know, the field. You all should push your kid in academics. So. We always did academics first and sports second. Yeah, so this young man, very, very, you know, short, and he was getting picked on by some kids and, uh, you know, used the word bully, but getting picked on and bullied. And um, LT stepped in with a couple of teammates and decided to escort him through the hallways to class. I, I got up, I took him out of class, made sure I wait until uh, next period and walked into class and saw some of the freshman football players to uh, make sure they take care of him because he's going to be with them for the next three years. So I just wanted to make sure you just felt secure, you know, not getting bullied. You felt like you had to have that person by his side if you needed somebody. I used to get picked on a lot, so I kind of understand that feeling and uh, where he's coming from. Now that I actually have the opportunity to uh, help out somebody that needs it, it just feels great being able to do that. Because he was picked on when he was little. He used to be the little, you know, fat chubby kid running around. So he used to ride the bus and fall asleep, you know, they hit him and, you know, things on a bus. And he's been through some things, you know, mentally. So he can identify. You know, that was not surprising to me. Uh, what was surprising to me was the, the next level he took it at. He didn't just stop helping the boys. He grabbed some more football players and everybody said, hey, help me out here. So I love that leadership part of him um, that is emerging because he's been kind of on the shy side. I wasn't thinking about moving on to college, but that summer year of my ninth grade is when I started taking those extra classes in the summer to get ahead, just in case I wanted a senior year, like senior year just to grind it out. You know, I don't have much to worry about with just getting better my senior year. So that's what my main focus on, my main focus was on, you know, just after those opportunities, uh, especially the and I own stuff, you know, just being able to go to college early, I think it helped. He started seeing that he was double, triple team. You know, instead of him perfecting his game and going against great competition, it was almost like I had to defend myself. You know, you're not building on your skill set, just defending yourself. He came to me one day before the school started this year. Uh, he said, you know, I'm almost done because we were just planning on senior year. He has football training, an elective, and he goes somewhere and do an internship because he was finishing up. He said, can I have it where I have a choice if I want to even leave earlier than December? I said, sure. So we added another class um, online. It was just an elective he needed. And so it was a choice of his to have, to be prepared just in case that's what he wanted to do. And now there are opportunities for, you know, athletes like you out of high school and then to get in college and take advantage of NIL. Was that on your radar? I mean, NIL plays a, it's, it's a, it's a good aspect coming into it, but, um, you know, my main focus on is like, what school I'm, I'm really vibe with, uh, what communication is the best, uh, like best family related type type deal, because I know I'm gonna be living there for the next three or four years. So I wanna be able to feel at home like I'm at home.
If I had to ask you one word to describe LT Overton, what would it be? Integrity. The young man has so much integrity, you know, in his walk every day. You see it in the hallways, you see it on the athletic field, you see it on the court. I think that's what's gonna take that young man to that next level on Sunday one day if he's blessed to stay healthy and he deserves it. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from today? Probably going to a fourth, fifth year of uh, the league, you know, just enjoying life. Uh, I've always wanted to travel the world, so off season, I'd you know, love to be able to to take those take those days and uh, you know just take business trips, uh, you know, go around helping helping other people in need and stuff. So my biggest motto is uh, somebody could be trying to get better than you every day. So I take that and uh, just try to get better at something every day. If it's film or working out, lifting or just like just studying the game, 